Ladies and gentlemen, your host, Hosan Leong. Hello. Hi. All sit first row, not scared. Ah, huh? stand up comedy, no? Ah, die one by one. Ah. No mind. Tonight we punch on first row. Fifth row, you die. <laughs> Welcome to the Funny and Money, where tonight we will try and put some funny in the money, or we will try and make money funny. But actually, it's not funny when you don't have any money in your bank account. <laughs> but you know, ladies and gentlemen, payment methods have changed over the years. You know, from cash to card to cash card to cardless, it's very confusing. It was way more confusing today when I walked in and I saw these beautiful people in black T-shirts that say, "What?" Your teacher say what? Come, show, show, show. <laughs> Ask me about the six C war. Hello, I don't even have the five C's. You want me the six C for what? What is six C? Well, you know what six C? Yeah. Okay, so if you want any questions about six C, you ask them. Okay, but I'll ask you now, ladies and gentlemen, before we begin. If you haven't downloaded the PayLah app, download now. <laughs> because can win money. <laughs> ah, oh, good wallet. Eh? So, I'm gonna ask you now. What do you think the sixth C is? Sexy. Wait, I put out your hand, lah. Okay, coming. Who you say? Who say sexy? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? May. May. Okay, ready? May. What is the sixth C? Cashless. Wow, very nice. Got a lot of energy. Cashless, like that. Okay. All right. Congratulations. Come, I I pay lah you the money. See, so high tech, right? Huh? Huh? Whoa, right? Whoa, okay. Yeah, amazing magic. How much are you gonna get, huh? Well, yeah. You wish, ah. Uh, so much money in my bank account, man. Okay, you can have. Okay, where wear my spectacle first, Kali? I overdo it. Kali, I bankrupt. Okay, you are going. What's your May? May, you are going to get eight dollars and eighty-eight cents. Congratulations. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, DBS. <laughs> you know, it's been an interesting journey um, learning how to go cashless for me, anyway, and for I think for Pam as well as for Fuzz, because this journey consisted of us being splashed across all kinds of taxis and MRT stations and ATM machines like that. Very scary, right? You know, but I tell you, uh, from some brands that want their celebrities or personalities to part of their brand, you have like Ross, for example, very amazing, very tall, very beautiful in the MRT station, don't got shampoo ad, right? Then the train passes, so you can see the hair move, like that. Immediately you go out, you buy the shampoo, you know? Or you have Christopher Lee, right? Selling bakwa on the side of a taxi going, like, my water roll, gun, you know? Or, i.e., come, buy my bakwa. You know, immediately you go out, you buy the bakwa, right? In the meantime, there's me on the side of a taxi looking like a one-wing stalk. <laughs> All my friends get into the taxis and then they, they text me photos of me between their legs. <laughs> I have 47 pictures of this in my WhatsApp. All the same. Like, hey, you're between my legs. Hey, you're between my legs. I get it. <laughs> you wish, you know, but then... <laughs> But then I realized after I got into a taxi that the ads rotate. So I got into a taxi one day and I found fuzz between my legs. <laughs> yeah, those are my knees, by the way, skinny. And I'm like, wow, what kind of post is that? Look, it's where he's, Q where he's scanning his QR code. <laughs> he's completely scanning my QR codes, right? Wap <laughs> yang. I tell you. But you know. Having said that, I'm glad that DBS chose me to be part of their campaign because they know that I'm a living, breathing Asian. <laughs> okay, that's really bad. So, but you know, being part of Pela and you know, being in taxis, I, I had learned a lot because I had never done, you didn't use Pela before until I did this ad. And so I said, okay, I must do it. So I got into a taxi, okay, Pela Virgin, very shy. Don't know what to do, right? Like, oh, scared, you know? So, <laughs> as the taxi got to the destination, then the taxi driver turned to me and went, $7.40. So, I very shyly, I went, 
อัมเกิลเพลานี่ไรฮะเซเว่นดอลลาร์บริเซน then like a bit bolder really right เซเว่นอัมเกิลเพลานี่ต่อ some kind of scammer you see คือยิ่งเป็นยังไง sounds to him he went hello อาบอยเขาไม่อาบอยเลยอาบอยฮะ you want cash card or net I realized what it sounded to him, Uncle Pay lah. Asking to pay lah, right? So he, of course, he thinks I'm crazy. So I said, No, no, Uncle, I want to use Pay lah. And then he realized, and then he became shy also. He's like, Oh, Pay lah, what I don't know. I don't know also. <laughs> so I realized both of us were Pay lah virgins. So both very shy already. So I said, Ah, I saw, and then I saw the thing. I I lunged forward to grab it. You know, like he like, Oh, he recalled in horror. Thought I was going to grab his joystick or something. He said, Ah, and I said, No, Uncle, no, 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 no. In the machine. I took the machine. Then I look at it. He look at it. He said, "Whoa, I put it down. It's so you don't know how to use. So he like, ah, uh, like, so, hey, got QR code. So I press. Then ding, ding, ding. Payment verified. Both of us smiled and contented. Then suddenly, smiling, satisfaction. Then I said, "Oh, Uncle, thank you. 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 What what is this QR code? Does anyone know what QR code means? QR. I first when I thought what's QR code? Does it mean quiet rhino? What does it mean? So I asked my best friend Agu. Google. <laughs> Google told me, whose best friend is BFF is Wikipedia, told me that QR code means quick response code. I was like, wow, really? And who invented the quick response code? Uh, you can talk back one, no? <laughs> <laughs> who invented the quick response code? Japanese. Ah, ja response. The Japanese invented it. So, by the way, this is called the QR code. For those of us who don't know, um, it's not modern art. Okay. Huh? So after that, so wow, so interesting. So I delved into the Payla app. And I saw, hey, got this thing called e ang tao. You can send an e ang tao nowadays, lah. But if I was to receive an e ang tao, I want to go e ang tao, go ye ang tao, right? So call it ye ang tao, ma. But now my e ang tao. Speaking of which, Chinese New Year around the corner. All the parents here packing ang pao, all right. For my family, Chinese New Year is like a military operation. My mother will start packing ang pao like now already. You know, she'll be like, okay, very stressed, very stressed, very stressed. Okay, uh, uh, you have seven nephews. I have thirteen nephews and nieces. So all together, we all oh, she packed ten dollars for nephew and nieces, six dollars for not so popular nephews and nieces, two dollar for random children that will come running out for money. See. And then my mother will next day walk. She'll carry like one handbag, and then the, the other bag is like much up, you know, prime minister like with a suitcase, chow, 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 handcuffed to her hand, all you know, uh, all the ang pao. And my father, of course, the man don't want to carry bag, insists on stuffing all the ang pao's in his pockets. So he a very unsightly bulges where they're not supposed to be. Okay, because my father really believes that random children will run up to him in Orchard Road and go, uncle, uncle, money. Then like he'll give two dollars to random children. That's why I'm poor because he's giving away my inheritance. <laughs> So I told my parents, said, "Mom, Dad, you will have to learn how to use the e ang pao. Save paper, save time, save random children coming up to you. You know. So, but technology and my parents are not friends. Okay, my mother, she's amazing because she will at lunch she will just throw a phone at me. Hey, why my WhatsApp got no picture? I'm like, huh? Oh, mother, you never save. Oh, at this point, all her friends at the table realize I can fix phones. All throw their phones at me. Like, hey." Who's that? You, you pick the phone, fix the phone, fix the phone. So you know, and then, then one day at lunch, my mother's friend, okay, realized that she didn't have my mother's phone number. She just came from overseas. So he said, "Hey, Mary, I'm Mary." My mother's name is Mary, so I'm her boy child. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning strike, boom, die. So, <laughs> so Mary, I'm Mary. You give me your phone number, lah. I don't have your phone number. So I said, "Okay, okay." So my mom, okay, hi, I call you, I call you. So my mom calls. Takes my, my my auntie's phone, calls my auntie's phone, then the phone ring ma, then she panic. Hey hey, Susie, your phone ringing leh, your phone ringing leh. How how? Then so I don't know, I don't know how how. My mother's like, I don't know how's that how? I said, turn off your phone lah. You call her ma. <laughs> my mother, how like that? So you see, technology of my mother. So if everything doesn't work, she'll call me. She lives in Bukit Bukit Batok. I live very far away. So one day her computer couldn't work for some reason. Couldn't work. She said, "Hosan, ah, come over. Fix the fix the computer. She can't fix the computer. Turn on the computer." She goes, "You see, I don't understand. What's user it? What's user it? <laughs> it's called user ID, mother." <laughs> oh, Mary. <laughs> And password, ayah, my password is very easy. Zero, one, two, three, four. Mama, don't change it, change it. 
so zero one to nine lah, my mother's password. So there you go, I'm the IT tutorial boy for her all the time. After that, you know, when we go, when we go out for dinners, uh, having to, to pay for dinners is another big drama in my family. If you know, if you realize this, right, a lot of Chinese families and other families, every, every Singaporean family would do that. Every time it's end of dinner, my father will surreptitiously get up like, oh, what's wrong, very stuffy. Uh. I need to go with fresh air. I hate towards the cashier. Hello, dad. Seriously? And then, oh, oh I had to go toilet, uh, toilet. Uh, heads towards the cashier. Of course, all my random aunties and uncles will see that, right? And then it's like chariots of fire to the cashier. The entire Leong clan. Dun, dun, na, 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 na. You don't pay! I pay! Last time you pay already? No, I never. Oh, money fly, credit card fly. You pay, I don't come in house of Chinese New Year! You pay, I lie on the road, let taxi run over me. Dentures. <laughs> you all laugh. You all grubs like that, right? I tell you, don't. Okay, I told my cousins never do this anymore. Okay, okay. Huh? We just pay la one another. <laughs> so you pay, I send back. You choose pay send back. You choose send back. Send, send pay la water. World War Three start already. I tell you. But now there are so many other ways to go cashless. For example, there's this thing called pay now. But you see, pay now will get into trouble with the speak good English movement, because you see, you say things like. I pay now you later, okay? <laughs> oh, later I pay now you, okay? Ah, okay, ah, later I pay now you. I double confirm, I should get into trouble again. For bad English. Seriously. Ah, yo. But so the other things like, you know, you can, now you can take your phone and you can just wave at the machine and then get paid, right? You pay things. It's really easy, especially at a supermarket, for example. You know, you're trying to pay, you, you know, you, 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 are, you are carrying this bottle of mineral, uh, mineral water. And in front of you, there's this person with a large shopping trolley full of groceries, right? So if, you, if this person had a pay wave, it's very easy. It's like, dude, then wave right, finish with it. But no, of course, I had to queue up behind this person on a Tuesday at NTUC, right? And she was like, uh, how much? Uh? Said, oh, $40, 50 cents. $40, 50 cents. Uh, wait, ah. Uh. Oh, what the hell about 20 cents, 30 cents, they got 5 cents. I'm like, oh, I only have one bottle of water to pay. So there you go, so they invented pay wave. Pay wave is very easy, but it's okay for small things. What if you need to buy in bulk? That's where you do the kalang pay wave. Yeah, that's where the whole stadium can pay together. I tell you, we do it together, okay? Everybody take out your phones. Take out your phones, very nice, very, very pretty one. Take out your phones, okay, turn on your phone so all the, the, the light face me, okay? Okay, we do the Kalang Pay Wave together, right? The QR code is there, don't worry, it will take all your money, okay? Ready? When I come to three, you wave in the air, this side come back, okay? Ready? One, two, Kalang Pay Wave! Go back! It's very pretty, it's like, it's like a Coldplay concert. Wow. But you see, you all can't see anything because the thing is facing me, ma. <laughs> so now you all face back your side, huh? face your side. Then you will see how beautiful it is, okay? We try again from this side, ready? Face your, face your side, ready? And go! Kalang pay wave! Kalang pay wave! <laughs> Only the last row can see very nice. Your first row, you'll see yourself like that. Wow, wow, jing ho kwa leh. Siao. In various countries, they don't call it pay wave leh. So last year, I went to Australia, eh? And I went to buy something, and I said to the, the cashier, I said, good night, mate. Yeah, how you going? Um, I want to pay wave. And she's like, huh? What? You want to wave and pay? I said, we don't wave and pay here, you know. I'm like, oh, sorry, what is it? It's tap to pay. Tap there. So like, I pay. Tap to pay, wall. So I says, no, just tap. Oh, tap. Tap to pay. You try in Singapore? You tell the taxi driver, uncle, I tap to pay. Sorry, thank you, bye-bye. Pong, one time. Uh. Siao. Okay, so I have come up with this extremely, extremely exciting exercise, okay? It's called the CPD, the Cashless Payment Dance, okay? So everyone stand up, huh? stand up, exercise a bit lah, huh? It's after dinner already. Come, Toby, don't be shy, stand up, I'm very tall, but never mind, okay? Yeah, don't worry, okay. All right, now take a look at these numbers on the screen. This is those in the year of the dog, huh? So those not born in the year of the dog, sit down. Ah. Okay, hi, come down here. Lie, lie, lie. Yeah, one, one lady, come. Oh. Sit, stand on that side, please. Ah, you are, you are Pela, right? Okay, very good. You are Pela, right? Okay, very good. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, what's your name? Pearly. Pearly, you're 24, right? You have the dog. Okay, you? 
Muhammad. You're also 24, right? Yeah. You're really 24 lah. Okay, well. <laughs> I said, oh, whoa. <laughs> Millennial. <laughs> okay. So, we, I'm going to teach you, okay, the cashless payment dance, okay? And it's just very easy to you. You can use this dance wherever you go to pay. Okay. So, whenever you go to a supermarket or you go, to, or go and shop, this is what you do. First, you can tap to pay, right? So, very simple. The step is like that, okay? Tap. 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 Do. Tap. 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 Very good. Got rhythm. 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 Okay. Sometimes, you can scan. Huh? So, you go, scan. Must, leg must open this one. Scan. 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 And scan. Uh, you don't like a robot. Lah. Huh? The, the hips must move a bit like my Scan. And scan, and scan, and scan. How are you? Ah, uh, Pali, very good, very good. Okay, we combine tap and scan, ah. Huh? Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, and tap, and tap. Hey, eh, why? <laughs> eh, eh. <laughs> tap first, tap first. Don't panic. Don't confuse tap and scan, ah. Huh? Two only lah. What lah? Many. Got some coming. Don't don't panic. You okay, Pali? Catch up, ah. Huh? Okay, very good. Tap, ah, huh? tap, tap for time. Ready? Go. Tap, and tap, and tap. Ready, scan, huh? and scan, and scan, and scan. Ah, very good, okay. Then, you can flash pay also. Ah. Yeah. Don't scan, don't scan, mama, don't scan. My flash is very, very uh, wholesome. <laughs> okay, it's like that, it's washed the window, it's wiped the window, okay? It's like, flash, and flash, and flash, and flash, go. Ah. <laughs> You got sound effect, you know, he's like, yeah. Okay? Can I? Combine the three, yeah? So tap, scan, and flash. Can? One, two, three, four. Tap, and tap, and tap, and tap, and scan, and scan, and scan, and flash, 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 whoa, flash. Ah, very good. The final one. Yeah, because the last one is swipe to pay. Swipe, you, know, you never do before. Yeah, you swipe, ma. <laughs> Argue with me, you know. Still got swipe, man. <laughs> Who's on the face of the taxi? <laughs> okay. Last one is swipe, ma. Swipe is a go-go, like that. Swipe. Swipe. Okay. So, right hand up, left hand down. <laughs> a good slow motion. But it's, in the real dance, not slow motion, lah, huh? Okay, we combine all the four. Okay, it's tap, scan, flash, and swipe. Taylor Swift is gonna sing this song and we're gonna dance to it. Ready? Music, please! Go! Tap, 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 and scan, 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 and scan. Go! Flash, 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 and swipe. I pay you, I pay you. Show me your QR code. Ah. <laughs> okay, ah. Uh. Better put the decimal point correctly, Scarly. Okay, ready, ah? Uh. Send, ah. Uh. Ding! Yeah, Pali, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Is that your QR code? Okay, Mama, I send you money, ah. Uh. Okay, how much, ah? Uh? Eight. 888. <laughs> With a decimal point, lah, obviously. What lao? <laughs> ah, but then, you, it's my name, DBS. <laughs> Thank you, Muhammad and Pali, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. <laughs> ah, yo, I tell you. Okay, you know, after the tap dance and all that, we've got a lot of things happening in store for you tonight. And uh, it being Chinese around the corner, this next stand-up comedian is busy packing ang pao's, but she has her own way of doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one and only, my good friend, Miss Pam Wee. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, I can very big on my face down there. Hello, everybody. So nice to see all of you tonight. 
we're here to talk about the funny in money, right? You know, money is funny lah because if you have no money, uh, you cannot survive. If you have too little money, uh, you find it very hard to survive. If you have too much money, uh, you have to make sure you survive in order to enjoy your too much money. Understand? Because when you're dead, uh, you can enjoy nothing. Huh? And they say uh, money is the root of all evil. Che, money is the root of all wealth. Hello? You must have money to have wealth, what, right? No, everybody wants money. Everybody wants more money. Even rich people. You will never find a rich person that goes, yeah, la, I think I have enough money already. I will just spend what I have from this point onwards. Nobody will do that one, la, nobody. We are obsessed with money. We are so obsessed with money that we have written so many songs about money, you know? And today, I'm just going to highlight a few. La, huh? Okay, there's a keyboard here. I can sing, but I cannot play piano. Huh? Hosen, lai, 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 darling, come. Hosen Leong. I thought I really finished already. <laughs> Open wine behind all the lip part already, no? Like you say, la, you think so easy to earn money. Ah. Your face has to be on thousands of taxis, you have to do stand up, and then you have to host this show and you have to play piano for me, understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay, like, I pay you, like, I pay you. Huh? Like, really? I pay you. I pay, pay now you later, okay? <laughs> okay, la, okay. Okay, la, okay, la, Hosen, I dedicate the first song to you, la, okay? <laughs> he was hard for the money, so hard for it, honey. He was hard for the money, so you better treat him right. Oh, Hosen All of you know that he's a very talented actor, singer and comedian, but did you know that he's a very accomplished pianist? Huh? Hey, I say you accomplish, you oh, better accomplish. Okay, me. I accomplish you. Okay, you accomplish me. Hey, do you all know uh, that he can also speak French? <laughs> do you know that he can also sing in French? Hey, come on, show la. Show, come on. Quand il me prend dans ses bras, il me parle tout bas, je vois la vie en rose. Anything you say in French also sounds very nice, uh, but sometimes also sounds like Cantonese. Ah, da, 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 take Palma. Right, right. <laughs> all right, all right, songs about money. Let's go, Hosen. Okay, how about the most famous one from the musical Cabaret? Money makes the world go round, the world go round, the world go round. Money makes the world go round, it makes the world go round. I want a yen, a buck, or a pound, a buck, or a pound, a buck, or a pound. The one, uh, uh, Abba. Now, are you in the house? Okay, now, I'll for you. Sing along if you feel like it. Money, money, money must be funny in the rich man's world. Money, money, money always sunny in the rich man's world. Ah, yeah. All the things I could do if I had a little money. It's a rich man's world. Thank you. My, my world is confirmed not rich, huh? because I'm a theatre actor and my husband is a filmmaker. Huh? So confirmed no money. Huh? So every day, huh, we look into each other's eyes and we say a little prayer and it goes like this. I've got the brains, you've got the looks, let's make lots of money. You've got the brawn, I've got the brains, Let's make lots of money. So even though my husband is a bit brawny and I sometimes can be a bit brainy, uh, there's no lots of money involved. So obviously this prayer thing is not working for us. Huh? And you know, uh, last time, uh, one million dollars is a lot of money. When I was growing up, uh, the aim is to become a millionaire. Today, please, one million dollars can't even buy you one condo. You know what I mean? It must be one thousand times one million, then it's enough. Huh? Hey, sorry, how much is that? Uh? Phil one, Max. one billion, hello? Oh yeah, okay. I want to be a billionaire, so freaking bad. Hey, wait, wait, I need to say something about this Bruno Mars. <laughs> I mean, he must be a multi-millionaire by now, right? Yeah. I mean, his concert, the ticket go on sale, bam, one hour, 50,000 tickets sold. And then for him, it's still not enough. Like, he still want to be billionaire. Like, how greedy is he? <laughs> He's so rich, right? He throws his Versace on the floor. He what? <laughs> He what? He throws his Versace on the floor. It's true. You see, like these rich people, like, they got rich people and then just throw the Versace on the floor. Yeah, long. Uh, no, sing, no. sing, sing, okay, like, sing, 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 sing
wanna be a billionaire so freaking bad buy all of the things i never had i wanna be on the cover of forbes magazine smiling next to oprah and the queen But you all no need to prepare, lah. Huh? It's okay. I will never be a billionaire, huh? <laughs> Hosen is okay, lah. Like, you don't need to play anymore, lah. Okay, thanks. Uh, because yeah. I think I sing and sing and sing, so will never be a yeah, billionaire, lah. So thank you. Okay, lah. Okay. I go and drink my wine, huh? I, okay, I pay now you later. Okay. I pay now me later. Okay, okay, all right, Hosen, okay, thanks. 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 Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you think about it now. Money is just actually a bit of paper and some metal, correct or not, huh? In the days of the cold hard cash, huh, you can hold the money, you can count it, you can smell it. If you are rich and you have a thick wad of it, you can go like that, right? But now everywhere is gearing towards going cashless, huh? You see, that's the problem now. When you say cashless, it means like no money, right? You see, today I might look a bit funky to you. I might have some funky jumpsuit on with some holes cut out here, huh? But actually, inside, I'm an auntie, okay? <laughs> And for aunties, this kind of term cashless is very confusing. Understand? Or it's very confusing. So I have to go and examine properly because when they first told me that this campaign about promoting a cashless society, I panic. I say, why, why, why cashless? Financial crisis? Ah, why? I have to stock on canned food. Is it what happened? You see, so today, Auntie Pam is here to talk about the challenges that aunties face while trying to go cashless and how we have to overcome these challenges to embrace modern conveniences, okay? Okay, before I go on, uh, uh, in case I look familiar to some of you, uh, it's because I'm the joker who has been staring at you from the ATM side. <laughs> you know? And my friends have been saying, uh, every time I go ATM, uh, it's like me going, Hello, you have money? You have money? I give you money. You have money? How much? 100? 200? How much? I give you money. So thank you, DBS, for letting my face be associated with money huh? because it's never happened before in my life. So thank you for that. All right. Let's talk about some auntie activities. Okay, Chinese New Year around the corner. Chinese New Year is very auntie-centric. Huh? There are a lot of auntie activities surrounding Chinese New Year, including, as they say, ang pao's. So always, uh, I don't know why, it's always the auntie who is designated to be the person to pack the ang pao. Whether it's Chinese New Year or birthday or wedding, okay? It's always who is the one who goes to the ATM to t -t 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 put the cash inside the ang pao before the wedding dinner? The auntie, huh? Especially, you know the, 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 the wedding dinner, the tua zong type, huh? they have one table specially for you to just deposit the ang pao. Huh? If you go cashless, very convenient. Can you imagine? You just go past and go, congratulations, tit. Have a baby soon. Teet. Don't get divorced after one year, huh? Teet. Huh? Like that. Hey, wait a minute. This is not great for me, uh, because sometimes uh, if I don't like the wedding couple, uh, I give ten dollars. You know what I mean? And then you oh then you don't write your name at the back of the ang pao. Uh, nobody will know. Right? Because you laugh very loud. Because you do before, right? Your ten dollar ang pao is just in a pile of indistinguishable double happiness ang pao's. Nobody will know, but if you use QR code, they will know that you are the one who give $10. That's not great, nah? huh? Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm here to talk about the positive aspects of going cashless. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, let me think. Okay, 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 I got one, I got one. I got one, okay? This also involves ang paos, but there is no downside to this, only an upside. Okay, you see, yeah, when you pack Chinese yuan ang paos, you all know, must have new notes inside the ang pao packet. Who came up with this? I don't know. It's them stupid, okay? Money is money. New or old is still money, okay? But no, somebody long ago decided you must pack new notes because old money go out, new money come in, whatever, lah, okay? So this is tradition and I'm an auntie, so I just follow blindly, okay? So I will go to the bank every Chinese New Year and line up for the new notes, okay? And it's always aunties who line up for the new notes. Huh? There are very few uncles, maybe one or two, but mostly it's aunties, okay? And then uh, in the late morning, around 10 something, uh, they will run out of new notes. I don't know why, there's a quota for banks, but they will run out of new notes and you have to come back tomorrow and queue again. It's very irritating, okay? I know this because I've spent many mornings on Chinese New Year, before Chinese New Year, lining up for these new notes. 
So I'm thinking, even though DBS has these wonderful pop-up machines, you know, they have pop-up machines all over the island, uh, pop-up ATMs that dispense new notes. It's very wonderful. Even though they have that, I'm thinking, go one step further. You know what I mean? No need to queue at ATMs at all. Why don't we just give e ang pounds? Then we will save so much time. And that time saved can be used to do more meaningful auntie activities like spring cleaning. You know, the kind of spring cleaning you only do once a year, the lift up the sofa, wipe under the sofa, no point type. Ah, you see, very meaningful, right? Or other meaningful auntie activities like lining up for bakwa, huh? Or you make your own pineapple tart at home. You see, you save so much time. And not only do you save time, you will save money. You know, you, know? you will save money because, okay, for example, uh, first day of Chinese New Year, my nephew, Jaden, seven-year-old nephew, will come up to me and go with two oranges, Gong Si Fa Chai, Auntie Pam. And then I'll go, Oh, Jaden, Gong Si Fa Chai. And then uh, I will say, uh, You know, this year, Auntie Pam is only giving out e ang pao's. Okay, I'm going cashless, huh? Come, Jaden, give me your handphone number. Auntie Pam, I'm seven years old, I don't have handphone. You don't have handphone, ah, Jaden. So sorry, leh. Auntie Pam, this year, going cashless, eh. I only give it e pao, I don't have handphone. Uh. My my mommy said I can only give I can only get a handphone when I'm set one set one uh, five years time. Uh. Okay, okay, Auntie Pam will give you big ampa when you reach that one, okay? Very good, right? Like that. So all the children who don't have handphone, which is probably like nine years old and below, save money, no need to give. Auntie Pam give me e pao uh. huh? Hey, don't say I never teach y'all, okay? I think I should sing a song about this every day during Chinese New Year. What's that? Zen has gone to drink his wine. Okay, I do myself. Going cashless with Yang Pao's. Yang Pao's, Yang Pao's. That's the way to give Yang Pao's. No more queuing with Yang Pao's. You are three years old. You have no bank account. You are We cashless, we be young pals. Hey! Oh, thank you. I help you all save money this Chinese you uh, You hear it here first, okay? Okay, okay. Other auntie benefits of going cashless. Hygiene. Okay, aunties uh, mostly will cook. And when you cook, uh, you go and buy things from the wet market. And then when you go to the wet market, uh, you will have to handle the change that the food sellers give back to you. You know what I mean? Uh? When it's the vegetable stall, when it's the dried goods stall, it's not so bad. But then walao, when it's the chicken seller or the pork seller, they give you that money, it's a bit yum yum, wet wet one, you know. <laughs> and then the worst is the fishmonger. You know what I mean? It's not only wet, it's smelly. It's how to lui la. Then you have to take the wet money, then you put inside your wallet next to your dry nose, and now you have a little bit of red snapper inside your wallet. <laughs> it's gross, you know. But with cashless, can you imagine if the fishmonger got QR code? Uncle, one angoli, teet! Half kilo big prawn, teet! Chiong he, uh, pomfret, my husband is Teochew, 20 chiong he, ti 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 ah, very clean, very convenient, huh? The other one is change. You never have to worry about small notes ever again. We've all been in this position before. You order one, uh, kopi si, and then you look at your wallet, alamak, you only have $50 note. <laughs> then you very sheepishly take out your $50 note and you give to the uncle, and uncle stare at you, like you just murdered his whole family. <laughs> And he also got no change. Then he go next door to the fishbowl auntie. The auntie now stare at you. Like you just murdered her whole family. Okay? So now they've got a lot of death stares. But if you got QR code cashless, never again. You will never get death stares again. Kopi si siu tai kao ke si tit. Ah, no problem, okay? The other one, Singapore's favourite pastime, queuing. Ah, especially for your favourite hawker stalls. We have all been here before. You are in the queue for 20 minutes already and you're still looking at the menu although you know what you're going to eat and you're like $4, $5, $4, $5, $4, $5, but tell me, ayah, line up so long already, $5, $5, $5. You all laugh because you've all been here before. Tell you what, line up 20 minutes, we okay, I will have an extra bowl of fish balls, that's right. I will have a $5 bowl of bak chor mee and I will order a bowl of extra fish balls line up so long. Then you look in your wallet and you realise, alamak, either A, you have no money, or B, you only have $4. 
Then you have to A, leave the queue to go to the ATM, or B, eat less. Wow, never again, okay? With a cashless society, you just but tell me five dollar bowl of fish balls. Ah, that's not very happening. Okay. So cashless doesn't mean you have no cash. You have. It's just that it's in the bank and you cannot see it, okay? So, but although we're, as a theatre actor in Singapore, cashless sometimes really mean cashless. Lah. <laughs> cashless in your wallet, cashless in the bank. Here are cashless, there are cashless everywhere, cashless. Huh? And besides being an actor, I'm also a mother of a seven-year-old boy. And he, he has just started primary one this year. There's a whole bunch of stuff you have to pay for. New school uniform, books, la, shoes, la, school bag, la, oh my goodness. And the other day we went to Toys R Us. He came up to me, he took this huge Lego set. He had fallen in love with it. It was some Star Wars Lego set. Like, thanks, thank you, Alas Jedi, your marketing very powerful. Then he bring to me, and, and, and he said, Mommy, can I have this? I look at the price, I'm like, hello, $300? You think what, I made of money? Ah? Then he went, isn't that what mom stands for? M-O-M, -M, made of money? I'm like, hello. Mom is American spelling, okay? We are in Singapore. M-O-M means Ministry of Manpower. Huh? I am your Ministry of Manpower, you understand? I cook for you, I wash your clothes, I do your things here with you, I give birth to you without epidural. Hello, ah. Next time you earn your own money, then you become your own M-O-M, okay? And then he said to me, well, Mommy, you don't even have to use money, you use your phone in front, you just teeth like that. I said, I teeth your head, I teeth you away, then you know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to what a smart, cashless nation. Work with me now, work with me now. When I say, tit, 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 you say, okay, 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 we do together, okay? And it must be very loud, huh? Okay? Tit, 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 tit. Oh, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Pam Wade. Okay, okay. I've got a little announcement to make because from tomorrow all the way to the 2nd of March, all right, if you transfer or if you send money via an e-angpao with Pela, you will stand a chance of winning $88 cash, all right? And not just that, tomorrow apparently is a special day war. I just found this out. It's Lee Chun. What's Lee Chun? Like first day of spring or something like that, I don't know. So apparently tomorrow is the best day to, to deposit money to your bank account. Yeah, some feng shui master say already. So, I'm like, spring, Singapore spring, hello. Singapore got four seasons. Got lah, hot, wet, hot and wet and sale. That's all, seriously, right? The temperature go to 22 degrees, all wet fur coat, siao ah. I'll take MRT, wah, hen liang ho, jing tian, wah, fur coat. Stupid, so hot, some more wet fur coat. Anyway, Lee Chun is tomorrow, so you have to apparently put money in your bank. Ah, but tomorrow, bank close, Sunday. So how? Aha, uh -huh. you spay lah. No need to queue, right? I got book confirmed tomorrow, the, 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 the ATM's very long, the queue. So all you spay lah, you do inside tomorrow, you double your chances to win the $88, okay? Just the, if you want more information, very simple. Take out your phone, scan the QR code. Then all the information will be there on your phone. In the meantime, it's my great pleasure to invite on stage the next person to tell you funny stuff about money. He has got his own Netflix special run right now. It's called Almost Ben. Give it up for my man, Fuckathaz. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. How you doing? Doing good? Doing good? Yes? Okay, I know you guys are looking at me and going, huh, I'm glad there is some representation in this show, huh? <laughs> going like, mm, I'm, I'm glad that they included that. And I just want to say it is my pleasure and honor to represent all the bald men tonight, all right? That's right, that's right. <laughs> That's the first time I see you smile from just now, you know. Nobody can crack you, you know, from just now, huh? I can see your thoughts, brother. I know what you're talking about, yeah? I know it, I know it. <laughs> I see, you know, you know, now the next time you go and shave, man, for anybody that's bald, right? Every time you want to go and shave, the next time just shave a QR code at the back of your head, right? So if anybody owe you money, just say, just scan here. I don't even want to look at you. I don't even want to look at you, right? So I told my mom, I said, Mom, okay, first of all, if you guys don't know me, maybe this will refresh your memory. Right? Yes, I am that guy. I am that guy. And I was, I was so, so pleased, right? I went home and I told my mom, I said, Mom, I'm on the cover of all the taxis. I'm the face on all the bus stops, right? Your son, your son has did it. Your son is the face of the leading bank in Singapore. My mom looks at me, huh? very, all Malay mothers, very unimpressed. Mm, okay, go clean the toilet. I'm like, you know what? But one thing, if I, if, if, if I want to remember my mom when she talks about money, right? The one thing that Malay mothers always say, okay? And my mother always say, to me, right? Huh? 
You better finish your food. You think I kissed the ape and got this for free, is it? <laughs> right? That's what my mom always said. Which really makes me think like, how would that have gone down if that was real, right? <laughs> she goes out and says, Ape, ah, give me chicken, ah, yeah, one kilo of chicken. Alamak, Ape, ah, I know cash. Ah. I Farida. What's the Lama Suka Samalu? Lai, 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 lai. I want to go down, right? And the worst thing, the worst thing okay, about uh, Pela or Digibank or all this kind of thing is like explaining it to your mom, right? Explaining it to your mom is the worst thing. Ah, uh, hello, mom. Yeah, uh, yeah. Can I pay la you this month's allowance? What pay la? No, 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 no. I pay la. I said I pay la the app. What's an app? The thing on your phone. The squares on your phone. Yeah. Okay, now you look at your phone. Yeah, press the home button. The home. The the only button that's on the phone. <laughs> turn turn on the phone. Turn. Do you charge the phone? Yeah. What charger? Can I, what do you? That's an iPhone charger. Use a, Never mind, ma. I pay cash. I pay cash. <laughs> It's very, very annoying, okay? Because I am a millennial, okay? If you guys want to know what a millennial is, a millennial is uh, young people think I'm old, old people think I'm young, okay? <laughs> Basically, I'm in the center, la. I don't know where the hell I'm going, right? I'm in the center. So, as a millennial, you see a lot of changes, and this cashless change is something that's very good because, you know, you see it, right? You see it evolving with technology. Right, you see it, and, and cashless is something very, 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 uh, uh, you know, convenient, you know, and easy, and it's less hassle. And as a millennial, I need to tell you that hashtag this is not a sponsored post. And the thing is, we've seen the evolution, right? And I'm a fan of music, so I've seen the evolution of music from cassette tapes to CDs, right? From CDs to MP3s, from MP3s to holy crap, this music is basically free now, right? And I'm a fan of rap music, but with cashless, I think it's gonna take away a lot from rap videos. Because you know how rap videos are, right? They're gonna be like, yo, make it rain, homeboy, make it rain with cashless, we can't do that anymore. Go, yo, check the balance, homeboy, check the balance, yo, check the... <laughs> They're gonna use QR codes too, right? They're gonna use QR codes on their teeth, go, yo, I get money, get money, skin it. <laughs> QR codes on the car, yeah, bump that QR, teet, 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 bump that QR, teet, teet, teet. QR codes on their chest, right? If you're having girl problems, I feel bad for your son. I got 99 problems, but the inconvenience of using transactions with cash ain't one. Hit me, right? <laughs> it's true, man. I think millennials can use this very well, especially if you're in national service because guard duty, okay, guard duty is something that uh, all Singaporeans know. And sometimes you will pay your friend to do guard duty for you, correct or not? Right? Used to be you use cash, but now, you can use this, right? And if you use this, it's a lot easier. All you can do is, yo, yo, homeboy, come here, come here, come here. Um, this week, can you do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Scan, scan low, scan low. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna see what. Right, like, tin. Enjoy your weekend. For you kids, right? Flag day. You know, you guys always have to hold the tins, right? Huh? You guys always have to hold the tins and let people to use coins. Next time, no more. All QR codes. Hello, Ati Hatin. Hello, Ati Hatin. Hello, Ati Hatin. Yes, that is gonna happen in the future as well. Yes, and languages is something like that Singaporeans love to be fancy with, right? They don't say, uh, you know, the train came late. They say there's a delay in service, right? Correct, correct, right? So it's like that, uh. they, don't, they, they don't say all that. Like, for, for, for you guys, if you guys want to use this kind of fancy language, you guys must know, pay la, don't take it literally, right? Pay la is actually, you know, the wallet in your phone, that app. Right? Not your friend going like, pay la, pay la, pay la, pay la. No, right? Pay wave, you wave it. Okay, at the counter. Not, not you wave and go home. No, okay? And flash pay is something very touchy. Please don't, yeah. Okay? <laughs> you don't flash and then expect your friend to pay la. Huh? No, huh? okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, your phone is everything now. Please know that your phone is everything. Okay, last time, when you kept your phone in your back pocket, most to most, you butt dial your girlfriend and she listens to all the whole conversation between you and your mom. Nowadays, if you butt dial your phone, all you know, right, you book a ticket for you and your family to Vietnam and back, right? <laughs> That's what happens with the phones now. And everybody knows that fear. Everybody knows that fear when your phone reaches that 1%, right? When your phone reaches that 1% is the most fear. Now, I had to experience this when I went to buy flowers for my girlfriend, right? I wanted to, to get my girlfriend from the airport, so I thought I'll go buy flowers for her, right? I went to the counter, and then I looked at the auntie, I said, ah, yeah, uh, two sunflowers, please. 
Yes, uh, uh, pay using pay lah, yeah. And then it hit me. No, 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 you gotta charge her, you gotta charge her, no. Clear, clear. No. Sometimes having a bit of cash is good. <laughs> Thank you, all right, but that was an act. Uh, <laughs> kids actually think this is real, I like that. Huh? <laughs> now, um, Pam and Hosanne, they're singing people. As I said, uh, I'm not much of a singing person, I'm more of a hip hop guy, right? So uh, I wrote this song. It's about saving money in Singapore. And the song, you know, most rappers, they like to like, Flow on their money and show that you know, I got money, but I'm a different kind of rapper. I think not, not many rappers talk about saving money. So I wrote a song called Save Money, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Hit it! I want you guys to sing with me, right? I said, Save money, money, save money, money, money. Save money, money, save money, money, money. One more time, say, Save money, money, save money, money, money. Pleasure to introduce back to the stage the 